Hello there, it's Brian again from excel widgetscom um, We've had a message on the forum here from Adam Breach. I cannot get the formula for the moving the needle. Please see attached files. Okay, let's just download your file here, Adam, and just open it up here in um, Excel 365. Um, enable editing um, and content. Okay, straight away I can see we've got a problem, um, and that is Excel is telling us we can't update some of the links in your workbook right now, um, and that's because um, they're actually linked to another Excel uh, file which is currently on your laptop or your desktop, Adam. Um, but let's take a, a little look. Um, and I think I know where the problem is because it was already in your um, message. Okay, I'm just clicking on the needle and I can immediately see that um, it's trying to bring in values from a file that's located in um, in this directory. Adam Breholtz Documents Personal Excel. Um, that's the name of the file and that's the name of the tab. Um, and obviously on my computer, I can't access um, the files that are on your computer. That's why it's throwing the error. Anyway, let's try and fix that problem. I'm going to click off that um, graph for the moment. Um, so basically, I think as, as I've explained in a number of videos on the YouTube channel, these widgets are made up of um, multiple Excel um, components, um, like uh, shapes and text boxes and um, things like that. So for example, if I just click this needle one second, if I just grab it here and move it over here, this needle is actually, it's an X and Y graph. Um, so if I go to chart, go to elements, I can put the horizontal and the uh, vertical axes back on. I can even put the grid lines. Um, if I can find the grid lines, the primary this way and the primary that way. I mean vertical. Um, and if I select this is actually a number of lines. If I select this, right click um, and go format data series um, and then click on this painting and then the lines, if I change them from seven down to um, one, for example, you can see that um, we basically have um, four lines drawn between various points. Um, and again, if I click that graph over here it's linked to lines which are on another file on your computer when actually they should be linked to um, x and y coordinates that are over here um, which are these x and y coordinates um, so um, this is basically five points um, this is the first point. I go here, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and these make up four lines drawn between five points, um, which are these lines over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to link, link, um, I'm going to update the, um, okay, I've clicked a point. I need to click the actual graph. There we go. I'm going to reference this graph to the values that are um, within this um, spreadsheet itself. So first of all, I'm going to take away the file directory um, reference, um, which is between the single quotation marks. So I'm going to take that out here, all the way to there. So that is the external Excel file. Take that one out. I'm actually going to take this one out as well. Let's do all of these while we're on the move. Let's, uh, and then take out that one, including that square bracket. Okay. And then this is currently referencing a tab called Widget Showcase Calcs, um, which doesn't exist on in this file because it we should be referencing my calculations page. 
So I'm just going to change that to my calculations page. Um, and we're going to put that in, obviously, three times. My calculations page. Put the hyphen back in. And my calculations page. OK. So this series of um, four lines um, is pulling x and y coordinates out from this column. The x's are in the c column between 50 and 54, and the y values are in the d column between 50 and 54. But this was on your computer, so we need to put the values that are on my version or this version um, which is within this file. Um, this first value before the comma is the um, it's the the title for the columns or column, um, which is the value above the x and y coordinates. Um, so I'm just going to press enter now. It'll say nothing because it's actually referencing the wrong values, but I'll click over here. So we need to be referencing the B column between 26 and 30, and the C column between 26 and 30. And for the names, we can put B25. So let me come back to the dashboard so we can put here, um, I think it was B25, and then this was um, okay, B26, I'm trying to remember this now, I think it was B26 to B30, 30, and this was C26 to C30, 26 to C30, okay, so now we have our, um, our needle, and this is linked now to the data that we're pulling in from the configuration page. Okay, so at the moment the range goes between zero and 5,000. If, for example, we sold 4,000, um, we bound 4,000 books today, you've been very busy, um, we can go back to the dashboard and the needle will swing over to the value of 4,000. If we bound a thousand today the needle will swing back over here to a thousand um, and basically these calculations are calculated here um, and they, these are the x and y um, it's basic mathematics with uh, um, trigonometry um, and these are the values that will produce um, this needle this graph essentially okay so I'm going to change this back to how it was which I believe was um, a thickness seven. Um, I think it was black, or maybe it was gray. Um, Grayish, dark, charcoal gray down there. I'm going to increase the transparency slightly. I'm going to take off chart design, take off the primary axis, take off the vertical axis, take off the grid lines, the primary major and the primary minor, grid lines, okay, primary minor. Okay, so now we just have a basic invisible needle. So this needs to go back where it came from, which was sort of, I'll put it in the middle, in fact, I'll put it there for the moment. And then what I can do is, without touching anything, I've got it highlighted, I can use the, the up, 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 and down, down, down keys, and it will nudge it. Um, actually, it's only nudging it at tiny steps. So let's bring it down. It looks about... Oh, let's do that again. Let's click the needle, and let's bring it down to there, and let go. Okay. That looks about right. It's on the thousand. Um, I'll just check it again over here. Change the value to 2,500. That should be the middle of the scale. And there it's showing 2,500. Now I notice straight away as well that your main value here um, hasn't been updated. 
Um, the easiest way to do that is if you go along the ribbon at the top, um, so that's the home ribbon, you know, find and select selection pane. You will see all of the elements um, that are making up these widgets. Um, so a load of text boxes and shapes and things like that. So we don't want the thermometer widget. I'm going to group that up for the moment. So we want, at the moment I have the dial needle selected, but we, that's the dial circle, we want the main value, which is this value here. And that main value is, is not this external value. So I can delete all of that. I can just put equals this value over here. 2500. Okay, sometimes it'll reset the formatting. So this is just a, a normal textbook, uh, text uh, field. So I can format that. I can format that um, text field shape. Um, come over. So that's the sh this is the shape options, which is the box. We actually want to format the text that's within the box. We don't want the fill. Where's the fill? Fill up here. The, f the solid fill at the moment is... We actually want it to be white, and it is white, which is strange. Maybe it wasn't the fill, maybe it was the, the line. This wants to be white. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> Struggled a bit with that. I put no glow on that. Okay, here we go. You might want to change the uh, the, the the format of the number of the number um, if you uh, if you're not happy with how it looks. Um, so there we go. So now when you change the value over here, you put here 852 books have been bound today. Um, you come over here and it's 852 in the main value and it's um, showing 852 on the scale. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, um, please post them on the, the, the forum and we'll uh, um, do our best to try and help you out with your dashboarding projects with an Excel. Um, so this is uh, Brian from Exodestable Widgets. Until next time.